this is to show you the second step in applying a patch pocket to the messenger bag. So I've created my patch pocket and in a previous video, I edge stitched the top of the pocket so that is pre-finished. Then I went back to my ironing board and I rolled in the other edges of my pocket. So my sides and my bottom, and you can see the other side here too. So I rolled all of the edges twice, a quarter of an inch iron, another quarter of an inch iron again. So this is all pressed and in place, ready to go. And you can see that I'm using a cotton canvas here. So I've got a pretty nice crisp edge and I don't really have to use pins at this point to keep this from rolling backward on itself. Not all fabric is this nice and stable, um, and nor does it behave itself. But with a crisp fabric, you definitely can iron in good creases and then have to use less pins. So right now I don't have any pins in it, but I'm ready to apply it to my bag piece. You need to decide where you want this pocket to be placed. I'm going to place it on what is going to be the front of the bag. Um, so this portion will lay underneath the flap when the flap is closed. I don't recommend putting pockets on the flap of the messenger bag as you'll be turning it back and forth and probably dump the contents of your pocket out. So front to back of the bag, lining pieces are also a great place to put your pockets. So this is going to be the front of my bag. So I wanna make sure that I place my pocket with that pre-finished edge up, and then I'm gonna line it up where I want. And I've actually already planned out uh, where I want this pocket to sit. So you can see that I, I actually pre-planned everything, which is really, really smart. And I cut my pocket piece out of the fabric in the place of the print where it's going to blend in with everything else. This is called pattern matching, um, which is generally a slightly more advanced skill than I expect of beginning level students. Um, but if you are smart about it and do some pre-planning, you could do this as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and start pinning it into place. I'm putting just a pin in a place that I'm not gonna sew. I'm not going to sew the top of that pocket, obviously, um, but I'm placing it there just so I can get everything lined up the way I want it to. So it might take me a second to just scoot my piece around, make sure it's in a good fitting place. Then I'm gonna make sure that I put my pins facing in a way that I can pull them out as I sew. So when I begin to sew, I'm going to start in this upper right corner and I'm gonna work my way around the pocket. So I'm gonna place all my pins with the tip uh, facing up on this right side and then I'm gonna change the direction of the pins as I go. So I'll show you that. I'm doing this because I'm going to be able to pull these pins out as I sew my pocket piece down. So I want to make sure that all of the ball of the balls of the pin, that's an awkward sentence, um, face me so that I can grab those before they go underneath the machine. So you can see that I'm placing them like so. Then when I get to the bottom of the pocket, I'm just gonna shift my piece so it sits right where I want it to. When I get to the bottom of this pocket piece, I'm gonna turn this pin this way because I will be turning the fabric as I sew. You can see that all the pins are going in the same direction as I work my way around. And you don't need an excessive amount of pins, just enough to keep it from wiggling while you're getting everything ready. Oh, look at that beautiful pattern matching. So again, I've turned my pin on the left side so everything is in the same direction. All right, so the pins face this way, so I'll be rotating this piece as I move it through the machine. So now I'm ready to sew on my pocket. You can see I pre-finish the top edge, I roll all the other edges under, 
iron it nice and neat, place it where I want it to go, and then I'm going to top stitch this. So I'm stitching from the exposed fashion side of the fabric, stitching through all the layers and applying this. So this is kind of like stitching your jean pockets onto the back of your jeans, same method. Okay, turn on the machine. And I want my uh, stitch to be consistent from the edge. Um, in the other pre-finishing state, I stitched really close to the inner folded edge. I'm gonna stitch pretty much down the center of my fold here so everything is neat and consistent. So I'm actually using the edge of my presser foot to line up the outer edge of the pocket. So this will stitch in from that edge just a little bit. As I get close to my corner, I want to make sure that I slow down and that I don't go all the way to the corner. I want to go about a quarter of an inch away from the edge and sink that needle so that I can lift my presser foot and turn and then I can keep going so that I don't have to stop and start that stitch. That's called a pivot. I'll do the same thing as I approach this corner. And if I need to get there, I'd be actually using my hand wheel and my right hand to sink that needle appropriately and pivot. And you can see I've pulled each pin, that ball facing me each time I go to run it over so that I'm not hitting any of those pins as I sew and remove them. Just a couple of back stitches on the end and we are done. So I'm gonna take my little handy snips here, go back and clip all your hanging threads so you don't have any loose hanging threads on your finished piece. Don't forget the back side. Okay, so I've removed all my long threads. They won't get in my way anymore. And now let's take a look at this beautiful patch pocket. So you can see there that it is top stitched to my bag itself. And I lined it up all nice and neat so that I've got a nice roomy pocket on the front of my bag that I can put my phone, I can put other things. You also um, could divide this pocket. You could um, top stitch lines down it uh, to divide the pocket into two pieces here. That's not really two pockets, but it could have a divider. So you could just top stitch a straight line, use a pencil or a disappearing marker to draw yourself a line to stitch. I've also seen people draw multiple rows that they could stick pencils and pins in so you can create little dividers to make your bag more useful.